All right, so let's cover the difference from this quad mini up here to this gritty antenna. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nader Tater channel where I cover all kinds of stuff. This one is going to be about the best antenna for your 5G home internet. That would be for your 5G T-Mobile. This works on Verizon, works on AT&T, and they have lots of different gateways. I have some in-depth videos of actually taking these things apart, adding the pigtails if you need to, or some of them like the T-Mobile white gateway, the G4AR or G4SE, has these ports already on there and you simply screw in the antenna to them and make them work. So you might be wondering, hey, there's lots of antenna options out there. Which ones work, which ones don't work? What's the difference? I'm gonna go through that high level right here for you today. So to start with, there are lots of knockoffs out there. There's cheap options and if you want cheap, you can get cheap ones. I have tested many of them, I have a in-depth review of using the cheap ones and I found all kinds of problem with them. The truth is a lot of these antennas are pretty simple on the inside. There are no electronics, there are no moving parts. Um, it's all about the way that the antenna array is laid out in there and then what I found is the quality and then the other part is the customer service and return options that you get uh, with the different manufacturers. If you buy one on AliExpress, Alibaba, you know even the Amazon cheap knockoff ones, what I found is things like the screws, they strip out, the cable quality is bad. So even if the antenna array is good, if the cable quality is low, you're going to lose a lot of signal in your cable. Uh, the other thing is weatherproofing and durability. If you're gonna put this outside, it needs to be UV resistant, it needs to be weather tight, otherwise your connectors will corrode. So if you see these guys, these have little booties on them that go over the top of it and that weather seals your connectors. Now this one here is from Waveform and I am partial to Waveform for lots of reasons. They're quality products and then they give you lots of good customer service. They have guides online so they support the whole um, you know, community of you know, trying to get better signal. So they have guides that you walk through and they show you how to take these apart, how to connect them up. And then they're active on forums, Facebook pages, that kind of stuff too. So um, I'm gonna recommend that you buy these. Uh, I do have a referral link that gets you 5% off any of their stuff. Uh, not just antennas, but boosters and, and other things out there. So this one here is their quad mini. This one is on the desktop stand or the window ledge stand. They also have, it comes included with the um, the antenna one to do a pole mount for outside. Outside's always going to get your best performance, but obviously there's lots of reasons to mount them indoors as well. If you're concerned about getting any of these cables from indoors to outdoor, Waveform also has that covered with a window entry cable they call it our i've actually gone through a door seal as well so it has this very thin silicone covered um, strip here that allows you to get either through a window seal or through a door seal or some other very thin gap and it gives you a connection for uh, outside and for inside of there and so they can either do a double-sided sticky tape for kind of more of a temporary installation or they also have the screw holes that allows you to uh, screw these in and have them connected I have in-depth videos on that. All right, and of course, before I get too far, I do ask you to hit that like button on the video below, and then also consider subscribing to my channel so you see more of my content and follow along. You can also check out the video description or the first comment below that's pinned for links to my playlist or other videos that you might want to watch. Okay, so the Quad Mini is their smallest one, and it's the most affordable one. It is great all around antenna for just improving your signal. Um, it's also great if you have your gateway that you wanna have somewhere in your house and you want this to just be inside and be in a different room or have it up higher on a shelf or something like that. This will allow you to do that. It will get better signal than the gateway itself, but it's not going to be as drastic of a change as the bigger ones, that makes sense. Now, if you put it outside, it will help a lot. And so that's something I encourage you to do or the other thing to consider is going to a different antenna. So with this one, it's omnidirectional, which means it will pick up towers from anywhere, which means you do not have to aim it, which is great. The downside to it is if your signal to noise ratio is not good, you know, if it's below say 10, 15, and it really needs to be above 20 to be good. Um, if it's down low, then this is not going to help as much as a directional antenna. And that's because it's going to be picking up all the interference just as well as it picks up the correct signal. So that's something to know about the quad mini antenna, but it's great that it is um, can be desktop set up, it can be windowsill, or it can be mounted outside. So next up on their size is the quad pro. So this is obviously a similar panel style antenna. Both of these are four x four Mimo. Um, and this one has their 
flex mount on it so it's a very adaptable mount it can go on a pole it can go flat against a wall um, you can set this up and it can rotate it and it makes aiming very easy because it is directional you know i call it like semi-directional because it's kind of like the front of it is directional and the back side is not um, but this one will help with your signal to noise so if you point this at the tower that you want to connect to it's going to pick that up way better than towers back behind it are somewhat to the side of it so this one is a great antenna for most users if you do not get line of sight which means you can't see the tower from where you're going to place this or you have trees or buildings in the way this is one of the best antennas i've tested this is one i use at my house because i do have trees and and um and terrain in front of me and i actually put it in the attic so i have my roof as well so this one is a great one for that and I, I this is probably my highest recommended one for most users all right so next up we have the dual plus duo so each of these are two by two uh mimo antennas so you have to have two of them together um to have a four by four now you can use just two if your um gateway or modem only has two antenna ports you could just use one of these um and what's great about this is that it's more directional than the quad pro so now obviously they are big but these also help you get higher gain so if you need that stronger gain you really um don't get enough signal even with the quad pro this is an option that you can go to i've tested these they do work well but again these are going to work better with line of sight so maybe you have a tower that's eight or ten miles away but you can see it because you're on a hilltop and it's on a hilltop this is going to help with that more so than the quad pro will but if you're heavily um, hidden in trees and terrain, the Quad Pro might actually perform just as well as this one will, and it's uh, cheaper and easier to install. All right, so for their most powerful one here, this is their gritty antenna. Now this is um, maybe more of a traditional old school antenna that people have seen. It has a adjustable horn here that you pull in or out to uh, further optimize the antenna for specific frequency and it is super and i mean super sensitive on direction so it has a very 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 small cone which is fantastic if you know exactly where your tower is at and you can aim it very precisely this is just one antenna so this is a you know uh, not even a one it's a one by one it's just one antenna so if you want a two by two memo you have to have two of these set up at a 45 degree cross polarization if you want a four by four you have to have four of these set up so that would obviously be a huge um, setup. But these are will have the best performance for line of sight if you spend the time to aim them. So I would say for most home users, don't do this because it's going to be way more work. And the difficulty of getting these aimed is very difficult. And it will only work for you. It will only improve your signal over one of these other ones if you have good, not only line of sight that you think about visual line of sight, but RF line of sight. That's another important thing. I have other videos on what does that mean, but it's not just good enough to be able to see the top of the tower. You actually need to have um, a larger area around it so that the RF signal doesn't get interference as well. But for most users, I would not recommend to go this one because of the setup difficulty. You're probably going to have more frustration um, than not. So I would go with the Dual Plus Duo if you're a serious, serious user that wants to really improve your signal. Uh, for most users, for your best performance, I would go with the Quad Pro, really. I know it's uh, more expensive than the Quad Mini, but that directionality will really help. I think you're going to be happier with that. Um, the people that I would say are most beneficial of getting the Quad Mini are ones that maybe are inside of a um, metal barn or a metal house or they have the low E windows and they get really poor signal inside, but they get great performance outside. If you put your gateway and bring it outside or open up the window and you get excellent performance, the Quad Mini can save you some money over the Quad Pro by just placing that one outdoors, keeping the cable short and bringing it in. That's a good use case for that one. I've seen people like RVs and stuff that they say their signal gets blocked yeah, you don't need the Quad Pro then. You'd be better off with a Quad Mini outside. Omnidirectional, you don't have to aim it, um, and that will uh, that will help you out a lot. So hopefully this video helps you understand a little bit of the range of antennas that Waveform offers. Again, check out the uh, links down below for the products themselves or also to get other videos that I release out there. And as always, put a comment below. I do read the comments. If you have a specific question, 
just put it in there. I will try to read those and get back to them if they're something I can answer. I'll give you a link to maybe another video that does answer it for you. So thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.